got into social tokens, classic cryptocurrencies um, last year. Um, this around the same time I was learning about NFTs. Um, I was just learning about everything that could happen with Ethereum. Um, and one of those things were social tokens. And um, I'll talk to it more later, but um, around February of last year, I joined communities like Friends with Benefits or FWB. Um, I joined a community called Whale. Um, and then I learned about different celebrities like RAC and others who have their own cryptocurrencies and you know people doing interesting things with them. And it really became a thing that really stuck out to me just because um, I think a lot of conversation about Web3 is about ownership. Um, but I think it was one thing of like ownership is empowerment, ownership for the fans. And I don't think that ownership always has to mean that someone owns like the rights to someone's music, um, the rights of, you know, someone's artwork. Um, I think social tokens are special because it allows you to, you know, be a fan, be in someone's creative world without having to, you know, really, really own their rights, um, it allows you to actually more get so access. It allows you to actually build community, allows you to connect with more like-minded people. Um, and that's one of a passion point for me than um, you know, owning someone else's rights. I did that in the music industry. I didn't really want to bring that to Web3. Yeah.